I'm Bruce, and I did the program uh, in 2021. I'm Ian, and I did mine in 2018, and we did it in person. Uh, for me, at that time, I was uh, going through a bit of an interesting time in my life. I was separated, and I felt, looking at the program, that it had some benefits for me to how I could move, move forward. Uh, being on my own, because mm. um, I've previously been married. And so there was things there, health education, how to look after yourself a lot better uh, in the years to come, uh, goal setting. Uh, so I looked at those sort of things and thought, for me, it was worth uh, coming down to Melbourne, because I live in the bush, uh, and setting aside those Saturdays to do that. I think I engaged in the program because I thought it was probably good to take a positive step about managing my life in a way that I, I could understand it and other people could probably understand me a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, I think that we just go along doing the same things for years and years and years mm. and you sort of think that I'd probably need to get a bit more idea from other people that have similar yep. health conditions to myself. Um, and to meet people that have similar health conditions mm. to myself to see at what stage, at various stages they're at with, with their illnesses and, and, and whether they are ill or whether they're well or, you know, and what they do with their lives, you know, as sort of a part of life that we don't really go into other people's lives and what they, they experience on a day-to-day -day basis about how they, you know, sort of get from getting up out of bed in the morning to going to bed at night and what they do all the rest of the time during the day. And um, it was a very big learning curve I found, the mm. whole thing. Did you did you find I'd, that yourself? I did do that, and it's interesting yes. you say that because, yes, I did enjoy the engagement. Yes. Because it was in person. Yes. And, uh, yeah, meeting the people and then yeah, yes. uh, hearing their stories. And, yes. yeah, we're all at different stages. Yes. Uh, and that, so, and uh, how to move forward. Well, we had different experiences because you did it uh, in person, mm. I did it online, but mm. it was sort of, it's still done very well. I mm. think it was run very well online as well. Um, but at that particular time, we were in COVID lockdown, mm. so yeah. it could only be online. But I think I'd like to do it in person at some stage yeah. as well. Yeah. Well, it was good yeah. that you were able to do it yes. at all, yeah. yes. I, I, th I feel, but yeah. online was good. Yeah. yeah, certainly it makes a big difference to hear how people are dealing yeah. with their situation. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, I just needed that little bit more support at that yeah. time. Yes, and, that's and the confidence. And yeah, yeah to, to just to move forward. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I did give me that. Yeah. And uh, Good. Yeah, things to work on mm. uh, for myself. Similar for yeah. me too. Yeah. yeah. The program was mm. very comprehensive from, you know, even managing um, sort of how you eat and you know just yep. really taking care of yourself um, nutrition and um, making sure you are taking medications and that yep. sort of thing I've got a personal doctor that's very good and I think it forced me to take more responsibility for myself and I think that's what the program is about did you feel mm. that yourself Ian yeah uh, I've been lucky I've had a, a very good doctor from yes. the outset yes. even though it's down he's down in Melbourne but that's fine yes. but I also have another GP who mm. deals with a lot of other things back home. Yes. Uh, I'm well aware of my situation. But f I think for me, so that was already okay for me, yeah. but it was more about the health education part, the nutrition yeah. part, yeah. looking after myself better, medication management. Mm. Uh, and because I'd only just gone on the tablets a couple of years beforehand, mm. I resisted a little bit mm. initially. And, but to me, I think one of the things that's, apart from those main things, was uh, goal setting. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Setting goals, and that was something that was talked about first thing. And if you stuck you came to your in, goals? Uh, well, different. I probably haven't done it as intensely yeah. as we did because we had to respond and say what we were doing, what we planned to do, and what we achieved mm. each, each time. Uh, so, but, I mean, I have been a bit of a, a goal setter, that's mm. how I've been able to get through mm. with my work and everything. Uh, but I suppose that sort of lapsed a little bit when other things are on your mind. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it was good, it, it focused me back on that, those mm. target things that I needed to do. Mm. 
uh, and that to achieve things yeah. and then yeah so yeah I've, I've done similar like it brought to light the importance of of having goals and, mm. and making making a bit more of a positive step yeah. in setting some goals and, mm. and, and developing some goals and yeah. strategies. In so you're not just aimlessly thinking, oh, I'll yeah. get that done, I'll get yeah. that done. Yeah. yeah, you set a goal to do something yeah. and you do it. Mm. So and we have to be answerable mm. <laughs> to that, mm. So which was good. Yeah. yeah. I would recommend it mm. uh, to other people. Uh, everyone gets something different out of it mm. for for whatever reason. Uh, so, but uh, I certainly I certainly did because I needed that at the time. But mm. uh, I'd certainly be recommending it mm. to people, even if you only just get one thing out of it. You know, whether it's nutrition or goal setting or medication understanding or uh, better diet, mm. uh, financial support or reinforcing um, peer support and uh, things like that too. Mm, definitely, yeah. yeah. I feel the same. I, I feel that it was, it was highly recommendable mm. and it would be very recommendable to people that, you know, for, in my case I live on my own and I think it's very impo important mm. if you live on your own to have goals and things like yep. that. So it's very recommendable to people yep. in my situation um, I, I don't know how it would be so much for people that are in a relationship, whether it might, you know, sort of be as useful for someone in a relationship, but mm. I, I suppose it probably would. I think they, mm. you know, that people still have separate lives within their mm. relationships these you, days. You, so, yeah, I, I'm yeah. just, you know, from my perspective, definitely I'd recommend yeah. it to someone like yeah. myself. Yeah. yeah. Well, whether you're a single or in a uh, relationship, you still have to manage your own life, yeah. your own life, yeah. HIV, and your own and goals, this, yeah. and your yeah. own goals, yeah. and uh, how you deal with it, yeah. and and that, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that supports. Yes, and what that. benefits you're going to get out of life. Yep. Yeah. Yes, mm. Mm. they've even tailored it towards younger people as well. So I yeah. think that it's really Agreed. great for younger people yeah. to get the information earlier rather than when we got it later. Um, better to be informed earlier and then you know sort of where you're going with your life a bit more. Yeah. I think it's really mm -hmm. a, a great thing for younger people to learn. Yeah, yeah. So definitely mm. to do the course. And it also helps with their confidence yeah. and well-being too. Yeah. yeah.